Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord. Today is Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Today we celebrate Metrophanes, Archbishop of Constantinople. Saint Metrophanes was born of pagan parents, but believed in Christ at a young age and came to Byzantium. He lived at the end of the persecution of the Roman emperors and became the, bis the bishop of Byzantium from about 315 to 325, during which time Saint Constantine the Great made it the capital of the Roman Empire, calling it New Rome. St. Metrophanes sent his delegate, the priest Alexander, to the First Ecumenical Council in 325, since he could not attend because of old age. He reposed the same year and was buried by St. James of Nisibis, celebrated January 13th, one of the fathers present at the First Ecumenical Council. The canons to the Trinity of the Octeokos are not the work of this Metrophanes, but another, who was Bishop of Smyrna about the middle of the ninth century during the life of St. Phocius the Great. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our epistle reading this morning is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 7, verses 26 through 28, and continuing to chapter 8, verses 1 through 2. Brethren, it was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, blameless, unstained, separated from sinners, exalted above the heavens. He has no need, like those high priests, to offer sacrifices daily, first for his own sins, and then for those of the people. He did this once for all when he offered up himself. Indeed, the law appoints men in their weakness as high priests, but the word of the oath, which came later than the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. Now the point in what we are saying is this. We have such a high priest, one who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister in the sanctuary and the true tent, which is set up not by man, but by the Lord. Our gospel reading this morning is from the gospel according to John, chapter 10, verses 1 through 9. The Lord said to the Jews who had come to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, gracious Lord. The Lord brings us down in humility and the Lord raises us back up. If I so ever think of myself as better than anyone else, I hang a heavy chain of iron around my neck and go out barefoot. People look at me and laugh. It is at this time I am humbled, and I remember that I am chief among sinners. That is a short quote attributed to St. Gabrielli the Confessor and Fool for Christ. My name is James Newcomb. I am grateful that you have pressed play on today's episode. 
we will close as we do every morning with the Lord's Prayer. And we'll see you tomorrow. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.